Moxie is just not leaving my side today. She is very needy. But I have shit to do. So you're gonna have to learn some independence. For today's video, I wanted to share some of my recent thrifted finds and what I'm gonna do with them. Last week I shared my thrifted clothing finds, but this week it's gonna be houseware items. I have actually been flipping vintage housewares recently and it's been a lot of fun. So I wanted to share some of the really cool stuff that I have found recently. Now I've got a lead on some more tables, so I gotta go grab those and then we're gonna finish these things. The deals never wait, so I got some good ones and I gotta jump on it. I'm back to work. These are the three vintage floor lamps that I found this past week and I am working on listing these today. I found this really cool vintage pharmacy lamp, this ivory floor lamp, and then this calla lily floor lamp. This one is mid-century and these two I believe are from the 80s. I don't have an official date on this one but what I have found online is 80s and to me it looks like the 80s style. And I know this one is from 1985 because it had a date on it. I am gonna photograph these, list them, and then store them until they're sold. I'm not totally sure what I wanna do with this middle lamp because it didn't have a shade where I bought it. So I think I'm gonna try and find a shade that works well with it, but I'm still gonna list it in the meantime just to see if it gets any interest without a shade. Now I'm gonna get started on the furniture pieces. I have a few that just need a good scrubbing, but some of them will need to be refinished. I'm gonna start with the easiest ones first that don't need as much work. This table just needs to be cleaned and tightened. Some of the screws are a little bit loose. It is a really beautiful piece. It's just kind of in rough shape right now. I just super glued one of these sliders onto the bottom just so that it made it even and it worked really nicely. Absolutely no wobbling, love that. Now I'm gonna do some cleaning. For scrubbing, I'm just gonna use dish soap and water and a toothbrush. I don't always use a toothbrush, but for these kinds of crevices, that's what it needs. Oh, hell yeah. This side looks so much better. This is gonna take me a little while though, so I'm gonna watch a podcast. Looking good. Oiled and all cleaned up. I'm gonna go scrub the glass in the kitchen sink. I got the first one done. What I like to do for wood furniture that doesn't need to be refinished but is still grimy, I'll scrub it down really good with some dish soap and water and then I will thoroughly dry it with a microfiber cloth and then with a different cloth, I put a layer of mineral oil. Mm -hmm. 
There's a little scuff here. Places like this, I like to use the magic eraser. This table was pretty clean, so this is the only really tough spot that needed fixing. Try to find all the marks before I wipe it off, just because I wanna save my time as much as I can. When I'm doing this kind of stuff for myself, I am much more leisurely with my time. But if I'm doing it to sell, I personally need to set the boundary that time is money. So I need to just not hyper analyze it because I know that I'm a perfectionist when it comes to this kind of thing and most people aren't. I mean, I'm never gonna send something out that's broken or I didn't put any effort into cleaning because if somebody's gonna pay more for vintage furniture and they're still paying less than a retail price for this stuff, but I personally would like to provide the service of them feeling like they're getting a new piece. I don't want to hand off a chore to somebody else, especially when I'm charging them money for it. I wanna feel confident with what I'm giving people. I find a lot of joy in cleaning things up and making them nice again. Like for a lot of people, this kind of work is not fun. For me, it's very fun and very satisfying. The last thing I'm gonna do before I oil it is clean the legs or clean the feet. I don't know what the word is because it's been on my garage floor for a while. Not a while, but a couple days. So the cleaning process is done. I use mineral oil on all kinds of stuff in my house. You'll see how much of a difference it makes. It just makes the finish come back to life. I have been very excited for these these are the bases for two matching side tables. I couldn't clean them yesterday because I was waiting to get plugs for these in the mail, but they came today and so I can actually put the glass on top. The only flaw with these tables is a small chip in one of the glass pieces. So I'm hoping that it will still sell despite that. It's really not visible from most angles, but We'll see, I'm obviously gonna disclose that. I finished my two tables that didn't need to be refinished last night. So those are ready to be styled and listed. And then I'm gonna get through as much of this shelf as I can because probably 90% of the stuff on here has not been listed. And I'm very excited because this stuff is like so cute, so cute. So I'm gonna start with these. This is doing a pretty good job. I think this is really all that was necessary. feel much better now. I also opened a window and now I'm not so hot. I haven't seen these. What do you think? Those are really nice. There's so many good things. Ah! Yes, things are working. I think I am gonna actually glue these in. I'm literally physically unable to use super glue and not get it all over myself. While this is set up all cute, I'm gonna use this table to photograph 
some of the smaller items. A lot of my items are chrome, so I'm gonna wait to photograph them until after I move these tables and when I work on photographing the other tables. Because these are wood, I think it'll go better with the chrome than the gold chrome with the silver chrome. Don't like that. How amazing is that? It's 70s vintage. So pretty. I think it would just be the perfect catch-all. finally finished photographing everything, so the hard part is done. Now I'm gonna go list all of this stuff. Thanks for watching.